All right, if you're heading to the beach, you need to watch out for rip currents. That's right, Amanda Holly here to explain what to do if you're ever caught up in one, because it can be quite scary, Amanda. It sure can, and whether you're a good swimmer or not, it's really important to know how to get out of one if you get caught in one, because a lot of times, even the fastest of and strongest of swimmers can't swim against a rip current. But let's start by talking about how they actually form. We need some sort of an onshore wind component because of course we know the wind pushes the water toward the coastline here, kind of like when we talk about storm surge with a hurricane, but not nearly as strong of winds. We're just talking about a little bit of a push of water up against the coastline and then that water has to go somewhere. So we get these tiny little currents that bring that water back away from the coast and that's when we see a rip current form. Now typically here along the west coast of Florida, we get it a lot of times behind a cold front in the winter, spring and fall, not so much during the summer months. The opposite is true though over on the east coast. They're very hard to detect with and see with your naked eye because they can form on sunny days. It doesn't certainly have to be storming by any means. They're often found near jetties and piers, but Again, you can't really see it. They're hard to detect if you're not trained to look for the different uh, waves and how, how they actually appear to an everyday person. But if you get caught in one, just remember this is a current that is bringing a small current that is bringing water away from the coastline. So don't panic. That water's not going to drag you under. Now, certainly the surf can be on the rougher side in here. So again, it is important to swim near a lifeguard. But remember, it's not going to drag you under. So it's just a current of water water pulling you away from the coast. If you actually swim parallel to the coastline here, you're going to swim directly away from that rip current and you're actually more than likely going to swim back into a current that's going to bring you right back to the beach there. But always swim near a lifeguard. That's the most important thing. They are looking out for these rip currents and will alert you if one does form so you can stay away from it. Guys. And I mean, I think people say rip current, rip tide. They're not the same thing though, right? They are not the same thing. This is a rip current. Rip tides actually happen every single day in areas that see really fast tidal movement, especially under small bridges that are bringing uh, that water out of our bays and our rivers. So rip tides mm -hmm. happen more frequently, rip currents along the beaches. All right, All right. good to know. Thanks, Amanda.